free agent frenzy begin? LeBron James has decided to opt out of the final year of his contract with the Cleveland Cavaliers. CBS 4's Mike Cuneo is here now with what that might mean in the coming weeks. Well, first of all, let's all take a deep breath and relax because he's we, not coming here. Well, we don't know yet. He, he still could. That's a long shot for the heat, but we saw this move coming for a while now. Look, he, he's going to make all the money in the world wherever right. he lands, but this was the first step. So it's not exactly breaking news, but it was the first step into his free agency. On the surface, LeBron James opting out of his contract with the Cavaliers doesn't do the Heat any favors. Had he opted into his final year with Cleveland, he could have forced a trade somewhere. But because he went another route, teams like the Heat and Rockets are on the outside looking in for the moment. While the Lakers and the 76ers are sitting pretty, and of course, this doesn't rule out a return to Cleveland. Now, the first domino to fall that could send shockwaves into the entire free agency market is Kawhi Leonard. The Spurs star forward is looking for a way out of San Antonio, and it appears there are three teams seriously in the running for his services, the Lakers, Celtics, and 76ers via trade. You have to sift through all the reports to get a clear list. We'll see if the Heat can join in that mix here as well. Now, according to ESPN, LeBron and his close inner circle will be meeting in the Caribbean where he's vacationing in what he's calling the decision cave <laughs> to plan his next move. <laughs> so we had the decision, cave. now we've got the decision cave, and he's somewhere remote to figure it all out. We all out. need a decision cave. I know, it's yes, like a do. man cave, but he's thinking about multi-million dollar yeah. deals. I wonder if it's in a real cave or not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk about the fact, okay, if, if the Heat don't get him. I mean, right. it would be, it'd be, it'd be so nice if they did, but if they yeah. don't, what are the other targets that the Heat may have their eyes on? Right. Well, the problem for the Heaters, they, they have so much, uh, they have so little cap room, I should say. So little cap room, so they'd have to do this work this out via trade. He'd likely have to get sign, rid of sign with Hassan the Cavs. You have to get rid of a guy like Hassan Whiteside or Goran Dragic to make some of those contracts work. They could be players in the, in the Kawhi Leonard sweepstakes via trade. That could work. But you remember a couple weeks ago, Pat Riley kind of tempering expectations. This team may look very similar to the way it did this year. This roster may not change all that much. They may make moves here and there. Of course, the big one for the Heat, if these two don't pan out, is what happens with Dwayne Wade next. All right, a lot of anticipation in Miami. It's going to be fun. Thank you, <laughs> Thank Mike. You, Mike.